Hi, hello, sexy people of the internet. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see uh, my mental health. I've just been going through it lately, okay? And you know what's cheaper and less vulnerable than therapy? dyeing my hair so come along with me on this arguably uh poor life decision it didn't work okay so yeah my hair has already been dyed from like my last hair that i've had i was getting tired of it also i'm very like easily impressionable by like tiktok and i've seen a lot of girls dye their hair red so i wanted to go with that Viet Mom realness aesthetic type of thing and i have it now and i like it it's red um but i kind of want more of like a cat valentine or just like a more spunky red and i wish it was just a little bit more lighter and i don't know i like it but i want to be like 100 percent happy with my hair so that's what we're going to be trying to do today we'll see how that works um I did try to be a responsible adult and go to the salon to get my dream hair. I'm just not very like excited and happy about it. I mean, I'm loving that my hair is red. It's just not the exact lightness and color that I want it. And I want it to be more on like the warmer side. I feel like it's very like purpley magenta and I kind of wanted it to be a more like red orange you know kind of thing um so that's why i'm trying to put this in my own hands because of that appointment y'all was so expensive and i saw <laughs> okay so i was looking through youtube because i was just just unhappy with my hair you know and i saw this kind of sketchy um mixture but it doesn't have bleach so i'm like well hopefully it works out and that's supposed to strip like all of the permanent dye that was put in my hair and it will just expose like the lightened part that they bleached before and then i'm gonna put on like a vibrant red on top and see what happens okay so the recipe calls for dandruff shampoo dish soap baking soda and some developer these are the other things i use and oh you can't forget a whole lot of blind optimism uh the recipe called for equal parts of each so i just kind of winged it <laughs> That's good enough. Let's do this strand test, baby. I put on my dyeing shirt. I hope I actually don't dye in this shirt. But uh, yeah, it's just red. I thought in my brain it makes sense because I'm like, oh, if I get red dye on it, it wouldn't be that nasty looking. Um, but also, I just don't wear this shirt a lot because it's my ex's shirt. shirt. Also, if it wasn't already extremely obvious, I do not know what the hell I'm doing. I'm not a professional. I don't know anything. This is just for like me just to be happy with my hair. I'm just trying this out. This is all entertainment for you. If my hair turns out well, you'd be like, yay, her hair looks good. That's fun to watch. But if I fail, then you're just like, wow, that was a nice little laugh. I'm actually very nervous. I had like nervous poops. I haven't eaten all day and having this like sinking sinking thing in my tummy being like this is not a good idea i know it's not a good idea but i also just haven't been able to like sleep well because i'm like i hate my hair so <laughs> that's just a little peek in what's going on in my brain right now okay so the reason for the strand test and why i have like one coming up from up here and one from down here is because my hair before was super black and then super blonde on the bottom so i want to make sure that when i put this extremely sketchy mixture on um that it doesn't you know like lift in a different color or different way um i just want to make sure it's like as even as possible so i'm just gonna this section is definitely way too thin i feel like oh it's so watery okay the deed's been done i'll see you when i see ya <laughs> Okay, so to no one's surprise, it didn't work. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it is just dish soap, baking soda, shampoo, and developer, um, but it worked on other people. So I thought it would work on me, but I think it's just because they had semi-permanent dye. I have a mixture of semi-permanent and permanent dye in my hair, I'm pretty sure, so that's probably why it didn't work. So I'm bringing out the big guns. If this is not bleach, it's called Color Oops. I got the extra conditioning version. So it's not bleach, it's not gonna be as damaging as bleach, but it's not like it's not gonna damage my hair because it's like stripping 
green color. Let's go! All I have to do after that was literally just mix two things together and shake it. So it was really nice and easy. We were listening to the queen herself, Miss Nicki Minaj. It was a good time. I made sure to do strands on the other side of my head because I didn't want the other strands to literally break off. And then I just made sure to saturate the strand completely. Wish me luck! Thankfully, everything was okay. None of my hair burned or broke off. So I kind of just went ham with it. I just... It, this was so chaotic. I didn't even know what I was doing. I kind of just slathered it on and hoped for the best. Ah! I was kind of freaking out because I thought we were going to run out of the mixture and I would just end up with a splotchy hot mess. But no, we were fine. I'm just a dramatic bitch. <gasps> Holy fuck. <laughs> After I put the cap on, I just had to wait 20 minutes for the thing to do its thing, and I just kind of danced around, bugged my boyfriend. Yep, business as usual. Grand reveal! Oh! oh. <gasps> Holy fuck! <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's like not as uneven as I thought it'd be, though. Yeah, there's like little bits, but like whatever. It's like barely. It's like dimension. <laughs> After having to do an extremely wasteful and boring rinsing process, I could finally dry my hair and see what my uncolored hair looked like. But of course, the success could not come without a casualty. Oh no! <laughs> hmm, bye. It's hour five, my patience is running low, but look, I feel like it's kind of cute like in this orangey color. I've been looking at like an orange color like this for a bit, but I think my heart's set on red. I've mixed it all up over here. Um, I've just put in a shit ton of the poison color and then the littlest, littlest bit of black to kind of deepen it up a little bit because I don't want it to be too bright, but I also don't want it to be too dark. Imagine, imagine if I fucking just went through this whole entire thing and it just turns out like my hair before I would be devastated, so. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't happen, but let's get this party started. I'm first gonna section off my hair like this. Ready? Three, two, one. No going back. <gasps> oh, oh no. I don't have petroleum jelly. I'm just hoping that it won't stain me too much. So how have you guys been doing? <laughs> it's been a bit since I've like uploaded a video. It's just YouTube stresses me out a lot and I just really need to focus on schoolwork. I am in final season. I have my final project presentation on Thursday and I'm just excited to get that over with. It's for like cancer research, like marketing, social media stuff. So I'm just very... I just took a glimpse of my hands and I literally look like I murdered someone. So... Y'all better not tell on me. Um, but <laughs> okay, that wasn't a funny joke. I'm excited. I have a week left until I'm a senior in college. I'm trying to find a new apartment for next year because SCSU announced that we're going to have in-person classes for fall and I'm so, so excited for it. I love in-person classes. I love walking to class. I love meeting new people. I just love like classroom environments and just like lecture halls. Um, I don't know. I just like love every little bit about it. So I'm very excited and I'm excited to go to the library. Something really weird happened too last week. Me and Martin just decided to like film this kind of like shit post TikTok and for some reason it blew up and it has like literally almost 4 million views and for some reason the whole joke of the thing is that Martin's super short. Um, everyone thinks that he's like 5'8", 5'4". Um, for some reason I guess in that TikTok everyone thinks he's really short. I guess he does look shorter than usual in that video but it's like like also why does it matter if he was short like it's really weird i i just like kind of realized that tiktok is i've always known this but like now being on like the kind of receiving end it is so toxic and hateful for no reason i don't know some of the comments i read even just on other people's tiktoks i'm just like can y'all put your energy somewhere else it's very very odd this is so satisfying i love this feeling top down Top down. Is there a song that's like top down? No. Let's put the top down. Putting the color on was a lot more fun than the color oops because this is more like dense, so you can just slather it on and just paint your hair. It was really fun. Yay! After that, I didn't have a cap, so I just wrapped it in a Target bag. This is so big. 
I had an hour to kill, so I just cleaned up the bathroom, watched my boyfriend cook dinner, ate that dinner, and we just watched The Office together. It was a good time. It's really funny. <laughs> I actually really like that show. <laughs> All right, let's see the damage. Oh, I don't like the smell. A lot of people were like, it smells so yummy. It smells like grapes. It smells so nasty to me. Ugh. All right, so now I have to rinse it all out under cold water. It is midnight right now, and I'm about to dunk my head into cold water. Okay, it's now or never, I guess. It's not that bad. I think I'm done. That was a workout. So now that my bathtub looks like I murdered someone, or like I literally just had like a water birth, um, <laughs> I'm gonna dry my hair now. You know, the water's not completely clear, but I've been going at this for like 20 minutes and I feel like it's just time to call it. <laughs> it's red and so is this baby. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, hotties, here is the final look. This is my hair. It's very, very red, obviously. Um, I feel like it looks pretty similar to the inspo pictures that I was like showing you guys before. I definitely have red hair, uh, but if I ever decide to go a little bit darker, it's definitely easier to go darker than lighter. I don't want to have to bleach my hair again. At least when I'm a little bit I do want to go blonde one day though, but we'll see, we'll see. But overall, I feel like it looks super fun and I'm definitely channeling my inner cat Valentine. I remember when Victorious was at its peak, I think I was like 14 or 15 years old and I would search up all the time on like how to dye my hair red, my mom wouldn't let me, but I, I just, I think it's always had it in me that one day I'm gonna have vibrant red hair and it's happened it's happened my hair is a little bit dry i feel like it looks drier than it actually is um because i kind of slept last night with the damp hair because i was so tired but it's not like super healthy i bleached my whole head okay like a week ago so like what are you gonna expect you can't expect super super healthy hair but it's not I, I feel like it's not super damaged the arctic fox was like a conditioning dye type of thing so whatever the like color oops kind of dried out my hair i feel like they kind of brought that moisture back i also think it looks really cute with gold okay i hope you enjoyed this video um it was kind of a roller coaster but in the end it all worked out i'm very happy about it if you want to dye your hair red please let me know please tag me in like instagram posts if you want um i would love to see it it's it's just like really hot <laughs> so <laughs> yeah okay bye see ya when i see ya i love you <laughs>